Okay, in the last few lessons I taught you how to insert information into a database using PHP MySQL. So you make sure you have these five steps covered before you query a result because there has to be information in there before you query. And we inserted this several times over. This is some info, this is some info, this is some info into this database. But now, how do we get that out and re show it into a web page? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take this little code right here. I'm going to show you how to use this, uh, and we're going to fetch the results from the database. So I'm using Notepad++, and I have the insert PHP. But now we want to create a new file. We'll call this fetch.php, just like that there. And I'll download this entire file and uh, what we want to do, I'm going to actually just hit all and copy this from our insert.php from the last lesson. And the things that we're going to change is from here down. Okay, we're going to change all this information. We'll leave that stuff the same. And so we'll go to our A1 website pro uh, script. Let me move this over a little bit. And we're going to catch this here. Copy. And we're going to bring over Notepad++. It will cooperate with me here. All right. And with inside here, we're going to query the database. So, and this is how we query a database. All right. So we have query select all from, and if we remember that table, it's called about. So we're going to select all from the about table. And if we look at our little structure here, the name of this table is called about so that's where that will go right here now here's where we start fetching our rows the result we're going to fetch the association and we can fetch the row called ID alright so we'll fetch that row Let me sh try to move this over so you can see what I'm doing see we have ID description and reg underscore date so what we want to do is we can actually duplicate this in Notepad++ and make this next row a description. And that means we want to get all those values out of there. And then the next row is reg underscore date, just like that, okay? Now, in order for this, uh, this is all going to spit out across the page and almost be like unreadable. We're going to put some uh, line breaks in here. In fact, we'll put uh, one line break here. So we go echo and, and double quotes and use an HTML element called line break. And then we'll terminate that. Okay. And then we're just going to hit save so you can see how many times. It should call and fetch at least 11 times. All right. So we're going to load up this fetch.php in the browser. So here's our our, our browser so let's type in fetch dot php so we got dj double h max fetch dot php hit enter and there we go we have 15 15 actually so i knew it was, it was at least 11 so this is some info and this is our time now it could usually this is going to be all different information but for the sake of time we just reloaded it and that's how you call information from a database it's as simple as that. Just go to A1 Website Pro, get this little code, adjust your parameters, and you're ready to rock and roll. This is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope this helps somebody out.